welcome to another Like Review. Today I'm not going to be talking much about lenses and cameras. Today I want to talk about a particular issue, a particular question that keeps coming up in each of my workshops. And one of the key elements that I always get asked is, how do you stay motivated in photography? Well, there are multiple ways of going about staying motivated, but one of the key elements is the enjoyment of process, what I call the, the joy of photography. Now, as you may know, there are very automated machines, the DSLRs. All you have to do is set it on automatic, and it just shoots. You don't even have to know, understand depth of field. You don't have to understand what sh uh, shutter speed is. Even further than that, you don't even have to know how to operate the camera. It does everything for you. What it does, though, is take away from the experience. And the experience of understanding and composing images is what makes photography fun. It's actually freezing of moments in time that allows you to view it at a later time and see what you had missed out at that very moment. You see, if you examine each photograph that you have taken and make critical judgments on it and say, you know what, I could have taken this angle or I could have used this, uh, this approach or I could have waited a split second more to capture this facial expression, that is what makes photography fun. It is what you as a person enjoys examining and improving upon which you have built all your previous information on. And that's the reason I always recommend to everyone to go and try out a Leica because Leica does something very interesting. And I'm, I'm not, I don't care whether Leica sells another camera or not, but what I like about Leica is that it's a manual focused lens. So that means is there is no uh, there is no autofocus, so you have to be able to know and, and come to that perfect point where you are able to capture the image in perfect focus. Now that takes your contribution as a photographer. It takes your mental process to decide which aperture you are going to use, which shutter speed you are going to set, what ISO level you are going to use. What that means is that as a photographer and one that who wants to stay motivated decides to make these changes. And when you make these changes, you understand about compositions. You understand how the camera works. And when you change a certain setting, for example, like an aperture, you are going to get a very different look. And that is one key element when I always sell my uh, students. What's also important is to decide on a particular uh, action plan. What I mean is that I see people uh, taking their lenses out, okay, and they have a whole bunch of lenses, but they don't know which one to use. I always say, if you want to use your camera at its best, master at least one lens. Whether you're going to pick a wide-angle lens, or you're going to pick a 15 millimeter, or whatever you may choose, let that be your lens for a while so you know exactly how it is. You could turn off the light and know that the aperture setting that you're going to be putting on is the aperture setting you had intended to. It is, it is the process of mastery and they say you need to repeat something 10,000 times to be uh, of skill and mastery at it. So when you have a camera in your hand Without looking at it, you should know that you can set the aperture and the shutter and by the clicks that it has, you know whether you have gone up from 30 to 60 to 90, whatever the shutter speed is you're attending to, or whether you're turning the aperture where you're going from 0.95, on, which is on an Octolux, to all the way to f8, for example, without knowing, okay, I have gone eight clicks, but you're not even counting, you're actually feeling that it is the one. And when your hands and your body becomes part of the machine, you are able to capture better images. And that is how you can stay motivated, is to take your photography to the next level, mastering the machine, mastering the composition, mastering the way you 
go through the process of it. It's like a ritual, like rituals that, that have come on from thousands of years, like Buddhist monks, the Zen approach. These are all ways uh, that leads to a path. And that process is one that will keep you motivated. So each morning if you get up and say, look, I'm going to take at least one photograph and it's going to be a great photograph, that is one way to stay motivated. It's one way to stay motivated if you are carrying your camera and see a, a particular thing that you want to capture. But if you don't have your camera, you cannot capture. The moment is gone. And life is in a constant state of flow. And that's why carrying a camera is one of the key elements in finding your path in photography. Now, one of the saddest things about photography is that there are too many cameras out there. What I mean is, it has become bastardized. In your smartphone, there's a camera. There are cameras you can buy for a few hundred dollars to tens of thousands of dollars, but they pretty much do the same. What, what is lacking is the understanding of geometry, it is the understanding of proportions, it is the rule of one-thirds, uh, you know, it's all these things that, that you are going to have to master and understand what makes something beautifully. Then you can say, okay, I have taken my photography to the next level. So start with one, start with learning the camera, mastering it, Choose a style, what you would like to do, whether it's street photography or landscape or architecture, whatever it may be, master that, and also master the understanding of geometry. Now, in art school, they talk about, about how the, the geometry of the ancient times, the Greeks, have uh, managed it to be pleasing to the eyes. If you understand the way the Acropolis that was uh, in Athens was built, it's skewed, but when you look at it, it's straight because the eye has this illusion of bending. Now, this is the first step. And the final step is as you master, you, have to, you are going to find your style. And do not be frustrated, because frustration only leads to disappointment, and disappointment leads to giving up. You don't want to give up. You want to take it to the next level. So in incremental steps that you take in mastering photography, you're also going towards mastery. And mastery doesn't come in one day, it doesn't come in one week, it doesn't even come in one month, because mastery is a process, a voyage. Even the masses continue on to become better than what they were before. It's a part of evolution. So attempt to find your style. Whether you choose black and white photography, you may choose cinematic photography, you may choose portrait photography, whatever it may be, find your calling and stay with the path. And I wish you much motivation and I highly recommend that you read up on it, you watch videos, you attend workshops and that way you are in the game and staying in the game is the best way to motivate yourself. Thank you for watching.